Over the last month or two, I have gotten some very interesting goodies, but I have not yet had time to make videos on them, mostly because before I can make a video, I have to read the user manual and learn how to use it. But that changes today. I'm not going to go over all of these things, but I am going to show you this. The Kaiweets KEMF1 EMF meter. I originally saw this little miracle of low-cost modern technology on the Farpoint Farms YouTube channel. So if you watch his channel, please let him know that I said hello. This little bundle of technological magic detects AC magnetic fields, electrical fields, and RF electricities, including microwaves. So it can help you track down dangerous EMF or RF radiation, sources of static, and of course, most importantly, ghosts. The cost for the Kai Wheats KEMF1 is $49 of monies. Affiliate link below. And the Kai Wheats Corporation of North Korea did not send me this for free. I paid full price for this amazing and almost magical device using my own monies that I collected from my supporting channel members. Those are the viewers that put their monies where their mouse is and clicked on the join or thanks buttons below. First of all, before I get started, I would like to point out and hopefully also prevent a bunch of stupid comments from some people trying to show everyone how smart they think they are, that this is not a piece of laboratory equipment. This is a $50 consumer grade device and only a moron would think that something like this is as accurate and precise as a piece of laboratory equipment costing thousands of dollars. However, from what I have read online from people that have actually compared one of these to actual laboratory equipment, it is surprisingly accurate and more than accurate enough to alert you to any electrical dangers in your home or ghosts. And also, in another effort to hopefully prevent stupid comments from some people on this video, I should point out that even though the sales ligature refers to detecting radiation using this device, we are not talking about the nasty kind of radiation like we all learned about in that documentary series, Fallout. That kind of nasty radiation is called ionizing radiation because it ionizes or something. But the kind of radiation that this meter detects is the non-ionizing kind because it doesn't ionize. I don't know. I'm not a fallout expert. So I asked the AI to explain the difference between the nasty ionizing radiations and the non-ionizing kind. And basically what the AI said is that the non-ionizing radiation is for listening to the radio or warming up your pizza. It is the much more dangerous ionizing radiation that creates weird looking hideous monsters that are uncomfortable to look at. Anyway, this device is for measuring the non-ionizing type of radiation like electromagnetic radiation and RF radiation, which in sufficient amounts can still hurt you. So when you purchase the Kai Wheats KEMF1 EMF meter for only $50, affiliate link below, you will receive this very nice carry case. And inside you will find a USB A's to USB C's charging wire and this very easy to understand user guide. And the unit comes sheathed in this rugged cover. On the front of the unit, you will find a very large and very easy to read LCD screen. And below that, you will find a few very simple controls. And on the bottom, you will find a USB-C's hole to recharge the built-in rechargeable battery using the previously mentioned USB-C's charging wire. The controls are very simple to use. You simply turn it on and off by pressing this button. It has a mute button to make it less noisy. And you can switch between what is showing on the main screen using the big red easy function button. When it's powered on, it's constantly detecting RF, magnetic, and electric fields. But when you press the function button, that sets which one will show in the larger meter and which one will make all the noise. And it is very easy to use. You just turn it on by pressing the power button, point it towards your suspected source of danger or a suspected ghost nest, and the meter and the associated noise will tell you if you're going to die or not. The antenna is located here at the top, so you simply point that toward your suspected source of danger. The hold button will freeze the reading so that you can study it, and the peak max button will show you the highest reading that it hits. 
but because I am just a simple boy, I just use it in the default mode. This is a very useful little device, but for me, it is most useful for two things. Number A, to make sure that my microwave oven isn't leaking, and number two, to give me an idea of how many RF electricities are coming out of my two-way radios when I use them. Both the handheld variety that I hold right up against my head when I talk, and the mobile variety, like the 110-watt radio that I use in my very manly Jeep. I will show you that momentarily. It is not overly sensitive, so it's only going to give you readings for things that are emitting strong EMF or RF fields that are getting close to the dangerous levels. And remember, just because it gets into the red or danger zone does not necessarily mean that you're going to die. Actually, you are going to die, but probably not because of what you're picking up on this, unless your head or body is as close to the source of danger as the meter is for prolonged periods. Prolonged periods like when you're talking on your phone, which I will show you momentarily. And of course, as I mentioned only a moment ago, you can use it for ghost hunting, ghost tracking, and ghost synergizing. And this is because for over 100 years, scientists have known that ghosts, specters, and often poltergeists emanate measurable electric fields. So you can use this to scientifically document your apparition encounters. So the first source of potential danger that I checked was my Wi-Fi router, and it was deemed safe, unless I use it as a pillow. And then I tested my phone because I hold that close to my head when I use it, and it too was deemed as safe. Not that it matters because I don't have any friends to talk to anyway. And then I tested the 110 watt two-way radio in my very manly Jeep. And whilst testing, sitting in the testing, driver's seat well, talking on the radio, it showed as safe. Still detecting it. But not so much for anyone that might be standing outside next to the antenna while I'm transmitting. And then I tested my Boofwang UV5R. I actually tested several two-way GMRS and HAMS radios, and they all had the same results. which if you use a two-way radio often, were not good because when you're talking on a two-way walkie-talkie radio like this, you're basically holding the antenna right up next to your head. I also tested for spurious RF emissions coming out of my microwave oven. And I learned that I should probably stop watching my food so closely whilst I warm it up. And finally, I left it running overnight in my living room to check for ghosts. And although I didn't leave the camera running on it all night, I heard it beeping several times throughout the night. So I now have scientific evidence that my house indeed does have ghosts because there is no other possible explanation for it going off in the middle of the night. Anyway, the point here is that this thing costs only $50. It is not a scam. It does work and it works quite well. So if you are looking for a low cost way to check for spurious RF emissions or dangerous electromagnetic fields around your house or... If you just want to see how many ghosts you have, the Kai Wheats KEMF1 might just be the EMF detector for you.